Hey friends, CloudBard here. I'm bringing you an exciting new series and a little bit of an announcement this morning here. Uh, kind of looking around on the internet and looking at what people are sharing and what, uh, what learners are responding to. And one of the coolest kind of posts I've seen are a lot of people doing these like uh, lessons of the day or little one minute uh, lessons. Um, and at CBT Nuggets, we do a lot of that kind of uh, info compressing down into our nugget format. And I was like, well, how far could I go with it? What, what subjects would be a good format for this as well, or, or a good uh, vehicle for it? And I thought, wow, identity and access management at Amazon Web Services is not only wildly diverse, it's got tons of things that we can talk about, but it's also one of the most important services in the huge portfolio of services that AWS offers. So this Monday, I am proud to announce the launching of my one minute identity and access management lessons. Uh, and today we're gonna start off with, in the spirit of a one minute lesson, talking about the root account. So here's my challenge, get myself ready here, talk about this one minute challenge. So when you first set up your AWS account, the root user is the account that gets created uh, and has that email address that you provided when you originally registered. And of course, the goal behind this is to have an identity that you can use to set up the initial account itself. So as a good rule of thumb, make sure that that email address is a distribution group uh, alias of some sort, so you don't get stuck with a single user who has access to that email address. Beyond that, remember that the root user is all powerful, okay? So they can perform all the actions on all of the services by default, and more importantly, you can't limit root's power. There's no policies, uh, identity, or resource base that can control uh, what sort of actions root can perform. They always have full access. This means that the most important thing you can do is make sure that you only use it to create other admin accounts, and then don't use the root account day to day, use these other administrative accounts instead. The final thing to consider is how might you additionally protect it? Uh, we recommend, of course, a strong password policy that has sufficient complexity and rotation. And also make sure that you have your multi-factor authentication enabled using either a hardware fob or one of the software options. Fortunately, most of this activity is something that AWS checks for you. And so when you log into your account, you can see right away whether or not you have multi-factor enabled. Do you still have your access keys sitting around? And whether or not you have a password policy? Looks like I got a little bit of work to do. Maybe we'll see that in our next one minute identity access management lessons. See you next time.